it's dumb, it's not interesting, it's stupid. I feel like I can't do it. It's just not fun anymore and I just don't want to do it. When I wrote my first novel, I did most of the writing outside of my house. I just felt like I couldn't focus and that I needed to go somewhere in order to force myself to sit there and get those words in. I had a desk in one of the extra bedrooms, but it wasn't really a, a good setup. Here, um, I made sure that I had a desk that I would want to use and sit at. And since I've been working at home, I've also been working here. But now I really feel like I have a comfortable space to work and to write. Today is really an ideal day for me to write because I don't need to exercise. I don't need to clean the house. There's no errands that I need to run. I really do better when I am able to wake up and then go straight to my computer with a fresh brain when I'm most awake and alert. You know, my plan for this weekend is to write today, Saturday, and also tomorrow. And every time I say that, I almost feel like I'm saying, oh yeah, I'm gonna write today. But at the same time, I feel like I don't really know if it's gonna happen. Sometimes I'm inspired and I'm able to just sit here and I'm on a good path with knowing where I want my story to go. And I do really well. The last time I worked on this was September 19th, which was last weekend, last Sunday. And that weekend, I did really good on Saturday. I got in so many words and I just really felt like I was on a roll. And then on Sunday, I was hoping that I could continue that because I usually do better when I write consecutive days, but I just didn't feel like I got as much accomplished. I think I was a little bit tired. So the way that I would kind of get into my frame of mind and you know, get into writing mode was, I would read the first part that I'd already written, make edit, get myself back into my story, and then continue on from there. But then it got to the point where it started taking me about an hour just to read through what I had already written, you know, once I had so many words that I realized I couldn't do that anymore. I'm kind of a pantser. I tried to be more of an outline writer and having everything written out, but it just didn't work out. I, I guess I'm just not that kind of a writer. And then right here, yes, it's all very professional. I just have some basic notes. And then also whenever I'm writing and I end up cutting pieces of my novel, it's hard for me to get rid of those words because it I spent time coming up with them. And I also might need them later, who knows? Um, sometimes I'll read back through something and realize that this whole section needs to go or I need to rewrite it or it doesn't fit in here and I don't know where it'll fit in. And so I'll just cut that and then put it into this document where I make notes about the outline and where I wanna go next in the story, just so that it's there. You know, it's just hard to delete words that you spent time coming up because every word is precious. And I'm definitely willing to kill my darlings and get rid of stuff that's extra and that I don't need. But um, at this stage, I don't wanna lose it completely because you never know. Current word count is 29,723. Yeah, I have six chapters. Try not to think of word count too much because I still have a long way to go. Obviously it's about getting the words, but also I don't wanna focus on that and make me feel like it's hopeless. <laughs> I just wanna write and then see where I end up. Clearly I, I'm not a professional at this, obviously. I am just doing what feels right in the moment that I feel will help me write this book. And now we write. I am going to sit here and just see what I can get done. I had a good 40 minute walk. No music, just me and my thoughts. And I did come up with a few ideas about a scene I wanted to write next. And then this is where the doubts creep in. And I tell myself that it's dumb, that it's not interesting, that it's stupid, and kind of question myself and everything I've written so far. And this is something that I just think it constantly happens. I am always second guessing whether or not this is going to be any good or 
whether or not I'm wasting my time. It's just hard not to. We tend to be our own worst critic. When that happens, you just kind of have to keep writing. You have to just keep writing because you'll never have anything to show for it or to even judge at all if you never finish. And this is just a first draft. So, you know, it, it doesn't necessarily have to be a masterpiece at this point. You just have to get the words down. So that's what I keep telling myself that I just need to push through the self-doubt and just keep writing and that it's going somewhere. Otherwise you would just give up. What I'm writing is very character driven and I'm reading a book right now on my iPad called The Stepsisters. And it's very character driven and so, and it's also a very good book. Here it is, the author is Susan Mallory. There's not a lot of action, nothing too crazy happening but the writing's good and it's a good story and I've been interested in it from the beginning. So, I, and the story that I'm writing is very similar to that and that it's very character driven and that's pretty much how my first novel was too. That's just the kind of writing that I'm interested in reading and the kind of writing that I like to do. If this story can be interesting with a character driven story and not a huge fantastic plot, then mine can be too. It has to be good writing, obviously. You have to have a story, a beginning, a middle, an end. You have to have conflict. You have to have problems for your characters to overcome. So I do have a good sense of what needs to be in the story. I think I have all the right tools to make my story a good one. I just need to stop doubting myself and just keep writing. I, I'm not a fast writer. I don't write every single day. I write at my own pace. So it's probably gonna take me a while, I've accepted that, but the important thing is that I keep writing. Sometimes I think about how much easier this would be if I had an outline. Imagine that, you would just know exactly what you were supposed to write next. <laughs> ah, I guess I'm doing it the hard way. So once again, I am not going to start from chapter one and read to where I'm at now because it would probably take me an hour of time just to get through that and I would rather try and spend that time writing. But I will say that I love the opening of this novel. I love the beginning. I did a lot of editing on it and rereading and shifting things up and I just love the beginning and I just feel like it's so good. And sometimes when I do get discouraged, that kind of helps keep me going. When I, when, I, when I look at the beginning and I see all the potential and I just tell myself, it's so good. You can't stop now. You have to see it through. So I just need to keep going. I keep saying that, but honestly, that's the hard part. Sitting your butt in the chair and writing even when you don't know what to write even when you have doubts that everything that you've written is complete crap because it changes. There's some days where I love the beginning and then other days I'm just like, oh God, I don't like it. Or I get to a certain point later on and I'm just like, I don't like where this is going. It's terrible. And then sometimes it just takes a new day, a new perspective to look at it again and convince yourself that it's good that it's going places and that even if it's not great yet, that it has potential to get there. So I've been at this for a little over four hours, um, from about 10 to 2.30 right now, 2.37 right now. I did spend about 50 minutes talking on the phone to my mom, but other than that, I've been right here. And if you can believe it, I actually have less words than I started with today. It's just a total bust. I just, I can't find the words. I started out with 30,180 and I have 30,126. Yeah, go figure, how does that work? Um, I ended up spending most of the time cleaning up stuff I already wrote, which is, you know, it's not adding to my word count. 
and I am going to at some point have to push myself to write some new scenes and it just didn't happen today and it sucks and I feel like I don't know like like I can't do it like maybe I can't do it So I was really wanting to take advantage of having the whole house to myself for the whole weekend. And I tried, but it's just, it's just not happening. It's about 11.20 a.m. on a Sunday and I'm getting ready to start a writing session. And I've been feeling very stuck for the last two weeks, just kind of feeling like I don't know where I'm going with this anymore. Even though I had a very loose outline, I've just kind of lost my motivation for my characters and just not feeling good about certain things that I had already written. And then whenever that happens, it just kind of lose my motivation and I start to question myself and doubt myself and there's this whole spiral where I feel like I just want to say forget it like you know what never mind let's just not do this anymore like who cares if I ever write another book it doesn't matter like it's just not fun anymore and I just don't want to do it but I try and talk myself out of that mindset because I know that this is something that I want to do. I want to finish this book. I want to write this book. Over the last two weeks, I've just been kind of not really thinking about writing because I just have been feeling like I didn't know where, what to write or where to go next. And just more focus on thinking about where I want to go from here. I've done a little bit of brainstorming. Another thing I do when I get stuck is I just start Googling what I'm going through. Um, I Googled getting stuck in writing or how to get out of being stuck in the middle of a novel. And I just start kind of browsing links, hoping that there's something that I'll find that I'll connect with and just kind of give me some kind of inspiration or just something to get me going again. And so I did find a really good article. If this makes it into a vlog at some point, I will link it down below. And um, I just, I read through that and then um, I went ahead and started at the beginning of my novel again, reading the whole thing the next time I wrote and I read the whole thing um, and then just started doing some cleanup because that usually makes me feel a little bit better when I'm feeling better about the flow of my writing and when I think it feels cleaned up enough that I, I feel like it's good. And I know that's not the best way to go because all that revision can happen later, but for whatever reasons, I get just really hung up when I don't like the way things are going and I feel like it's not flowing well and when I feel like it needs revision, which of course it does, this is a first draft. <laughs> so I did a little bit of cleanup on some of the parts that were a little bit rough and just felt like like they weren't well written and needed some filling out and clarification and whatever it was. And then I just started um, thinking about, again, what I wanna write next. So that's where I'm at now. I kinda feel a little bit inspired. I started a new book, sometimes that helps. Um, not that I take ideas from that book, but somehow, I don't know what it is, I can't even really describe it, but reading good writing or even really bad writing, either one, somehow jumpstarts me and inspires me to work on my own novel. I don't know what it is, but you know, this morning at breakfast, I was reading a book and it just kind of like the wheels started turning in my head and the desire to finish this book and to keep writing kind of came back for me and the desire to kind of push through this feeling stuck and not knowing where I'm going. So I'm still at, I'm at 30,450 words. I can't remember exactly where I was the last time, but I really haven't made much progress. It's just been more like cleanup, adding little bits here and there. 
on what was already written. I'm gonna sit down now and see where it takes me. <sighs> Wish me luck. All right, there it is. 30,451 words. It's three hours later and I've done a little over 200 words. <laughs> it's like pulling teeth right now. That's really what it is. Uh, I would love to lie and say I got like 3,000 words or something like that, but no, that didn't happen. 